Hello and welcome! I'm working on a loose watercolour pet portrait today and I've started with this little practice sketch in my sketchbook because the story in this painting is really about the sweet relationship between this little girl and her gorgeous pet dog. So I'm going to connect the two figures later on with colour. They're both redheads and I'll tell you why that's important in a moment but the real connection is also shown in their sweet pose that they are so close together so I want to try and capture that in my painting which means I need to get the figure placed in the right position and similarly the, the dog's figure as well. As I just mentioned these two are both redheads and that's because this is my contribution to Dana Tollefson's Red Rover Art Challenge. These challenges are so much fun and a huge thank you to Dina for organising them. Um, if you haven't checked out her channel, please head over and do that. I'll pop a card in the top right hand corner so that you can do so. And you'll be able to see everybody else's artwork prepared for this same challenge. The challenge involves a prompt and the prompt today is Red Rover. So the artwork is to either feature the colour red and or a dog. So I've chosen to, I guess, almost do both. Uh, recently I have been painting poppies uh, and if you want to see those I'll pop a card in the top right to those too. Um, and those would have been a great choice obviously because they're usually bright red. But I rather love the, the red hair of this beautiful little girl and her dog has got similar fur so I thought that was quite a, a fun idea to paint the two redheads together and funnily enough I actually haven't used any red paint whatsoever because there are an awful lot of colours in red hair but I didn't see too much actual red so I've stuck to oranges and quinacridone gold and burnt sienna, those sort of tones, to capture those beautiful colours uh, in the hair. I really enjoy using watercolour for these sort of portraits where, you know, it's often quite surprising, I think, to realise that you can capture quite a lot of the feeling in a face, I suppose the expression or the mood, uh, without having to actually carefully articulate every part of the features. And this sort of a pose where she's angled down sometimes feels a little bit tricky to draw but actually if you can get your head around it and use a kind of a loose approach with the watercolour uh, you may find that you can capture that much easier than you thought. Now I'm not worrying too much about a background as such but I do want to make sure that they the both figures look like they're actually sitting down and it's that contact shadow that helps create that effect. And now you can see I'm getting the chance to use the same colours I used in the little girl's hair to give her those beautiful strawberry blonde curls uh, and I'm using exactly the same colours in her big beautiful dog. Now his features are so obscured by all that gorgeous fur that it would be quite difficult to add a lot of detail for all of them. So that does make them a uh, a lot of fun to paint and it becomes all about colour and value. If you've been enjoying watching this little portrait come together please consider giving it a thumbs up by hitting that like button and if you want to see more loose watercolour painting you could consider subscribing to my channel. Um, the new videos usually come out every Wednesday and are typically this sort of loose watercolour uh, painting. Now I almost forgot to paint her little hand that's sitting across her knee there. Um, I probably should have done that when I painted her other arm and her little face because I had those colours on my brush. But never mind, we got there in the end. Thanks for watching. Hope you're having a lovely day.